What's going on, YouTube fam? It's your boy, the beautiful black man, the most honorable. Brian Nees is back here with a YouTube video on why women do not understand your struggles as a man. Before I get into that video, guys, please like the video or dislike it if you're a woman. Don't forget to comment below, guys, and tell me whether or not you believe women understand or don't understand your struggles as a man. Don't forget to cop some Pink Camara, Brian Nees, and other types of t-shirts and merchandise off my website. The link will be in the description box below. And most importantly, guys, please subscribe to my YouTube channel so I can continue to give you guys more content on a regular basis. So without further ado, let's get on the video. And I know like the first thing somebody's gonna say when they see the video, if they're a lady, is be like, who hurt you? We answered that question specifically my ex-wife, but it's not the point, <laughs> okay? It's like this, men and women live in completely different realities and that's okay, but nowadays it's important for men to understand who oftentimes forget in this equal or quality like mindset type age that women do not understand your struggles as a man. And I'll give you a multitude of examples here. Let's say for my brothers in here who have a committed relationship or like a wife, at home. She cooks you some food and it doesn't taste that good. But she spent like maybe a couple hours in the kitchen. You can't just say to your girl like, no, this don't taste good, baby. Somebody, you gotta say, oh, you know, at least you tried her. Oh, it tastes all right, baby. Like, it's good. You know, you gotta try to make like the woman feel good for what she like did in the kitchen. You know what I mean? Or for example, if you're going like on a first date or take one out on a date, you're obligated to show that woman a good time. She doesn't just show you a good time and like try to wow you or, or sweep you off your feet. Because her job at most is to look pretty, probably put some makeup on and you know, dress nice and try to be agreeable on the date. But you gotta like go above and beyond to make sure you give it like the best time possible, whether it's a conversation, an event, an activity, or whatever the case may be. That's men's life all the time. You always gotta struggle, sacrifice for women to some degree. I mean, not to say the women don't sacrifice at all, but anytime a woman sacrifices for a man, it needs to be congratulated or praised. For example, in today's society, especially in America, if a man marries a woman, it's disrespectful to say to the woman, congratulations, he's a prizer. But as a man, you can say, oh, you should be honored to be with her. But they say to a man, like, oh, you should be honored to be with him, this kind of thing that's disrespectful. You gotta treat a woman as a princess. For some reason, every woman is a princess. Yeah, a society where we, where we automatically like coddle and feel like this kind of handicap on women in society that regardless of what they feel like they're perfect, they're a princess, they should be treated as such. But if you say like as a man, I just want to be, I'm a prince, treat me as a prince, treat me as a king, they'll see you as arrogant, obnoxious, delusional. But literally, most of them don't bring anything special to the table for the most part. Because what men care about most when it comes to women is youth, beauty, and the thing between their legs. And after that, they want you to be loyal, they want you to be, you know, honest and just like devoted. But like for a woman, they want like a guy that's six feet, makes six figures, is awesome. If you ever see the Twitter splitter, you, you guys know what I mean. They want you to go to razzle and dazzle them to like, you know, no end. That's what women want. They want to take them on that fairy tale. But women can't like give you that specific fairy tale. If you as a man were to walk up to like any random girl at the mall, if you don't have like great pickup game. What's up, baby? Take me out the dinner. Hey, yo. I'm gonna like be repulsed by you or appalled by you. But if a random girl just walk up to you all the time and you're not Drake or some kind of celebrity, you know, it will make your day. We exist in completely different realities. And yes, it is very sad, but honestly, it's, it's a lot better to be alive today than it was back in the day because honestly, men were the disposable sex. Either you had to work to your bones to death on the farm, you were a slave to cut like a spear and a shield in your hand, you had to fight to the death and hopefully live it to make it back to surviving a woman. As a matter of fact, in African history, even before pre assignment times, Africans rarely fought each other over resources. Take for the Zulu nation, for example, which is very congruent to many other African cultures, it's not Granada across the continent. You had to become an established man or a warrior before you were allowed to have sex. If you fornicated with a woman, they put you to death. You had to become a warrior first. But once you became that established warrior as a man, you had or, or, or passed that rite of passage as a man, you were allowed to have all the women that you wanted. And the thing is, why we uh, the, the men were go attack other tribes because there'd be so much women to like one man that like it was like, bro, we need more women. So they would go to other tribes and conquer their women. That's literally how the Roman Empire started. They had like it was a group of men, no women, and went to go and capture everybody's girl. 
But the reason why they're allowed to have so many women like that because women, men always have to have a burn up performance and they have to earn their women. Women never had to earn men. I guess you can say in that kind of context, they are the prize, but it's really the men that's the prize. They had to like work and accept themselves. They were, they were just art. They were just, they didn't have to bring anything necessary to the table, but make sure that they were loyal and make sure that the kids that, that were, whoever the guy that they were with, whether they had multiple wives or a whole harem or not. So guys, I want you to get mad at women for not understanding your reality, all the hard work and your sacrifice. You may work all day and then your girl might may not expect you to spend enough time with her, right? You say she's complaining, you don't spend enough time with me, you don't give me enough attention. But for a lot of guys out here, we're work, we're grinding, trying to get ahead. And if we don't go to work, maybe your, your, your girl, your woman, your wife is not very materialistic. It's still costing you a lot to spend time with her when you're trying to make ends meet or get a little bit ahead or whatever the case may be. It costs you time as a man. And pretty much every woman alive today in America overlooks that fact to a very high degree. They would say, oh, spend some time, we spend some time. They would say, well, we need this, we need that. It was like, well, I could have been working. You know, men, all this fairy tale romance stuff, that's all new age, new hat stuff. It didn't really exist that much back in the day. You just had to work, provide, make sure the kids are taken care of, you protect your woman, and that was it. I'm not saying that women don't need to get romance, you can't take your woman on dates if that's available to you, but it's not the most important thing to maintaining the family and relationships. Sorry, ladies, that's just the truth. That's, that's going to wrap up my video on why women do not understand your struggles as a man. Don't forget to one, like the video or dislike it. I really don't care. Don't forget to comment below, guys, and tell me what you guys thought about this video. Don't forget to cop my merch off my website. The link will be in the description box below. And most importantly, guys, please subscribe to my YouTube channel so I can continue to gather content on a regular basis. Excuse me. It's your boy, Brian Jesus, the most beautiful black man. I'll see you guys next time.